This week marks six months since a collision between a military helicopter and an American Airlines plane killed 67 people in Washington, D.C. This morning, we're getting a first look at research that could make the skies safer. A team at the University of Maryland is working on a flight suit that may help pilots avoid disorientation by using vibrations. Chris Van Cleve tried it out during a simulated flight. A nude of Data is learning to fly helicopters. Helicopter 304 Romeo Cubic. A University of Maryland professor focused on helicopter design and dynamics. He knows better than most about the danger of pilot disorientation. It happens when you fly into clouds or bad weather. The FAA says pilot disorientation causes 5 to 10 percent of all general aviation accidents, and they are nearly always fatal. Investigators believe it was a factor in the 1999 small plane crash that killed John F. Kennedy Jr. and in the 2020 helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant. Spatial disorientation is a big deal in aviation, and it's basically where the pilot cannot determine which way is up or down or whether the airplane is banking to the left or to the right. Dada is now helping test new technology being developed at the University of Maryland that could one day be part of a flight suit or built into a pilot's seat. Do you feel like when it comes to disorientation that this kind of technology could be a lifesaver? Oh yes, absolutely. Think of it as something similar to lane departure technology in some cars. Pitch back more. Using haptic off. vibration to tell a pilot how to respond if they're showing signs of disorientation. The pilots typically fly through two uh, primary sensory cues, which are vision and equilibrium. Professor Umberto Saietti is leading the research effort. Basically, the suit provides a, another sensory cue to try and deconflict the conflicts that may arise from reading the aircraft instruments and whatever the pilot is feeling. So the idea is to give one more line of defense before an accident. That is correct. There we go. Donning a virtual reality headset and wearing special vibrating sensors on my arms. I got you loud and clear. We tried the technology in this F-35 simulator. This is a major cinder storm. As the visibility decreases around me. I got a stall warning. Yeah. <laughs> I did not think I was pitched up that much. I'm relying solely on instruments and those sensors to keep the plane level, and it is not easy. I have no idea if I'm going down or up at this point. The vibrations guide me which way to turn. There we go. Uh, Got to go a little right. Now a little left. Flying level. The research team aims to eventually conduct actual flight tests using sensations they hope help pilots feel their way towards safer skies. Once the technology is refined, it would still need to be certified by the FAA before it could go into an airplane. And the technology also needs to get small enough to fit into a flight suit or be embedded in a pilot's chair. Vlad? Really interesting. Very cool. Chris Van Cleef for us. Thank you, Chris.